Hi there. Hey, Blue Oval Dude here. Today, I'm going to show you how to budget back cut a set of valves for your heads. So you can do this at home. Remember to hit that like, subscribe, ring that bell, comment. Alright, so what we've got going on here is we basically have uh, some stock valves. And there it is in focus. And so what we've got here is we've got this big lip going on. And uh, we want to make another cut. We want to take off this lip because the lip can create turbulence, especially knock down your flow, you know, um, 400 thousandths and below for sure. And so we're going to take out that transition and we're going to smooth this transition from here, the back side of the valve, onto that seat face. So the only thing that we're going to need to do that, of course, is our valves. This is um, an exhaust valve, it's a 160. Of course your handy dandy bench grinder and a cordless drill. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your valve, simply install it into your drill and reverse the rotation compared to the rotation of your grinder. And after that, we're going to kind of get an idea of an eye it out of what we've got to do here. Kind of the angle that, that we're looking for so I know what I want to do when I turn this on. You want to see a little bit of light in there. Basically cut the angle in half between that valve face and the back side of that valve. And after you feel good about it, turn it on and go to work. And try to keep it rotating. Don't stop this thing spinning until it's off from that from that stone and you can see there it is you can see that we're, we're getting it done and we're not hurting that bell seat completely gotten rid of that lip. We did not hurt where that valve is going to seal at all, if you can see that. And I can polish that up quick. Here, I'll polish it in the brush quick so you can see it. Maybe a little smoother. Much nicer, smoother transition. Pretty cheap and easy to do at home if you're on a, a very small budget. So what the... If you're gonna have a small lift cam, you know something that's under 500 thousandths? This usually really helps pick up that low lift flow. So if you're going to have a small cam, um, I've seen as much as 20 CFM from just doing something like this. So yeah, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Now if you're going to do this on a nice set of valves, I just have them done at the shop. Have them done at the machine shop. Where they can pretty do a real nice, uh, like a 20 degree back cut or... Or something like that but this absolutely works if you want to do this at home and uh, basically get some free horsepower <laughs> all right we will see you guys next time have a good one